Nine Ways to Know If I Have Repented A Bible Lesson If any of the following is true of me, then I have repented towards God, and He has forgiven me of my sins. 1. I often ask God to forgive me of my deeds and of my thoughts. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, that he may have compassion on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. 2. I have accepted God's forgiveness of all my sins. Jesus taught. Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer, and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name, to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. 3. I have been baptized and have received God's Holy Spirit. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. 4. If I am a Jew, I believe that Jesus died and rose to save me from sin. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand, as leader and saviour, to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. If I am not Jewish, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ gives me life. God gave the same gift to them as he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Then to the Gentiles also God has granted repentance that leads to life. 5. I believe that Jesus is risen from death and is my judge. God commands all people everywhere to repent, because he has fixed a day, on which he will judge the world in righteousness, by a man whom he has appointed, and of this he has given assurance to all, by raising him from the dead. 6. I testify to my faith in God and in the Lord Jesus Christ. I did not shrink from declaring to you anything that was profitable, and teaching you, in public and from house to house, testifying both to Jews and to Greeks, of repentance toward God, and of faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. 7. I recognize that I am hard-hearted and deserve God's wrath. Do you presume on the riches of his kindness, and forbearance and patience, not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? But because of your hard and impenitent heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself, on the day of wrath when God's righteous judgment will be revealed. 8. I know that my own deeds cannot give me eternal life. Let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ, and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. 9. I regret the wicked things that I have believed and done. The rest of mankind did not repent of the works of their hands nor give up worshipping demons and idols, nor did they repent of their murders, or their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their thefts. Jesus said, I tell you, 
There is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents.